today's video is going to be my evening skincare routine. If you have missed it, I did my morning skincare routine video last week. I'll have a link to it up on the screen if you care about uh, hearing about the products that I'm using in the morning. Today we're going to talk about my evening skincare routine. As a recap, I have combination skin, combination oily skin that's very, very acne prone, prone to congestion. I like products that are lightweight. I don't like the feeling of heavy creams or anything that's too cloying. I like things to be lightweight, quick absorbing, but hydrating. I like my skin to be comfortable. My skin is also quite temperamental. If I don't wash my face properly at night, I will 100% most likely have a breakout the next day. So it's quite high maintenance in the sense that I need to stick to a routine. I can't switch out products too often because my skin can freak out. So I like to slowly change products out, slowly introduce new stuff. And for the most part, I like to stick to the ingredients and textures that work for me. Now, since I wear makeup almost every single day, I do like to double cleanse. I like to do a first cleanse that just takes care of removing all my makeup, and then a second cleanse that actually cleans my skin. If I'm wearing a lot of heavy-duty eye makeup, I will go in with a separate eye makeup remover before I do my first cleanse. And this is my favorite eye makeup remover. This is the Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover by La Roche-Posay. Now, even though I don't wear waterproof eye makeup. This eye makeup remover is fantastic. It's the type of eye makeup remover that has two phases in it, so it does have a little bit of oil. So if you're somebody that gets eyelash extensions, you will not like this because you're supposed to stay away from anything containing oils. It gets rid of all, all, all the eye makeup. It doesn't, um, I don't have to do any tugging or rubbing on my eyelids. It's really gentle and it doesn't give me cloudy vision. A lot of times when I use oil, oil-based eye makeup removal products around my eyes. My eyes either sting or my vision gets really cloudy for a few minutes and that can be annoying. I haven't experienced that with this eye makeup remover, which is why I love it. I am almost out of it and I already have a backup. I buy this from Shoppers Drug Mart. If I can find it online, I will have the link to it in the description box. But this is my favorite. Then to remove the rest of the makeup all over my face, I will use either a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. In the summer, I like to use a micellar water because that's a little bit lighter, but in the fall and winter, I like to go back to using a cleansing oil or balm. And right now I'm using the Pestle and Mortar Erase cleansing balm. That's what I have in Ann Arbor to remove my makeup with. And then at home in Windsor, I have the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil, which I also love, but I hate the packaging of that one. So if you like that one, but you want something that's like a notch fancier, try this. I really like it. In terms of performance, they both do the job. They both do the same thing. Now once I massage the oil in and mix it with water, it starts to emulsify and melt away all the makeup, then I like to take a washcloth with warm water and just gently wipe everything away. My favorite washcloths are by Aurelia. They are made of bamboo fiber and uh, bamboo fiber has some antibacterial properties to it. It's also more environmentally friendly. In terms of a skin cleanser, my favorite is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I really like a non-foaming cleanser that has a low pH that cleanses my skin without it feeling stripped. I will use this in the morning as well sometimes if I don't want to use anything that's, uh, that's more exfoliating. If you are on a budget, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser is very similar to this. I find that this does a little bit better of a job at cleansing my skin. The La Roche-Posay Telerion Dermal Cleanser, that one's really good as well. That one is better if your skin is more dry. I have had some comments from some of you guys that were a little bit more dry skinned saying that the Glossier cleanser can be a little bit drying if you use it every single day. So if you do have dry skin, maybe you want to check out the La Roche-Posay version. But if you are oily combination and kind of acne prone like me, I think you will really like this cleanser. Now after I rinse my face with water, I will not wipe away the excess water on my skin. I will leave my face wet and then I go in with my hydrating serum. This is the same serum that I use in the morning. It's the Bioderma Hydrobias Serum. I use about one or two pumps of this and I just like to pat it in all over my face, mix in with the remnants of the water that were on the skin. I just kind of find that it gives me a nice hydration boost. It helps 
with the water retention and my skin it feels nice and plump I just keep patting it in and I love how refreshing and hydrating that is and again this is the same as the product I use in the morning this is the Neod fractionated eye contour concentrate I absolutely love this stuff I find it hydrating enough for me by itself I don't follow up with an eye cream this I use a drop on each side. It really has helped smoothing out the texture around my eyes. I've noticed a significant improvement in puffiness as well. I do not get as puffy in the morning as I used to get before I started using this. So I really, really enjoy this. Now for my neck and chest, I've actually been using this serum to use it up. This is the Juviance Vitamin C. It's a 20% Vitamin C night serum. Now when I first got this, I got it to use on my face. I initially wanted to alternate this with the retinol and use it at night, but it just did not work on my face. My face um, was getting really congested and it looked, it didn't look its best. It looked quite blotchy. So I stopped using this on my face, but in order to use it up and try and get the benefits of the vitamin C, I started using this on my neck and chest in the evenings and I've had really good results with it. It hasn't upset my skin on my neck and chest. Unfortunately, it just did not work on my face, but just a reminder, if you have a product that maybe you're not crazy about on your face, but you know, it has good active ingredients in it, try using it, you know, on the backs of your hands, try using it on your neck, your chest, maybe the backs of your legs. Sometimes skin on our body tends to be more resilient and less sensitive than the skin on our faces. So why waste a perfectly fine product um, if you can find a use for it other in other places of your body? So I very much uh, abide by that rule. Whatever does not work on my face does not get wasted. I end up using it in some shape or form on my body. Also, another random tip, if you have any exfoliating products like glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid pads or any like exfoliating solution that you do not like on your face, those solutions are awesome to use on surfaces after you shave. They are really, really great at preventing ingrown hairs and they're really great at helping get rid of razor bumps. So that's what I do with those types of products. This is quite boring. It's the same as my morning routine, but if I have any dry patches or sensitive areas on my face, I will go in with my Bioderma Sica Bio Creme. This is a skin protectant. It helps promote the skin's healing process. This has been fantastic for me this winter around my nose because my nose can get quite irritated. If you suffer from a cold, you keep blowing your nose, cracked skin, and it can, be, it can sting, it can be uncomfortable. So I love to use this around my nose to kind of soothe that area, around my mouth, um, any, any patches of irritation on my skin, I like to protect them with this product and it's fantastic. It sinks into the skin. It's very comfortable. It doesn't have a fragrance in it. It's loaded with ingredients um, that help promote skin healing. If my skin is feeling super dry and super irritated, I will just mix this in with a face oil. And right now my face oil of choice is the Leilani Champagne Serum. I will do like half a pump of this mixed in with a little pea sized amount of this. I kind of mix them together and apply all over my face instead of a traditional moisturizer cream. I'm a big fan of mixing and mixing things, trying to play around with textures. Mixing two products that you already have can give you a better result than going out and buying something new. So. Sometimes I like to mix these together if my skin's feeling super dry and super tender and then I just go to bed. But on a more regular basis, I will just go in with my Differin cream. After I use uh, the Bioderma Sica Bio cream on certain areas, this is my big active ingredient of each and every night. I use this almost every single night. Um, the only time I don't use this at night is if I'm doing a mask that has any type of acid in it. I know that some people are able to tolerate them in the same routine. I personally don't and I would advise against it. But this is the 0.1% cream and it has a dapoline in it. That is the main ingredient. And in Canada, this is prescription only. I was prescribed this from my dermatologist. But if you live in the United States, you can get the 0.1% different gel at any drugstore. They have it in Walgreens, CVS. I highly recommend this if you struggle with acne, especially like under the skin bumps and congestion. I have found that this helped immensely. I have never been as happy with my skin as I have been since I started this product. It did take a long time. I kind of hated it for the first three months. It did make my skin worse before it got better, but 
I have to say now that it's worth it. I only use a pea size amount of this. I just kind of like to spread it on the main areas of my face and massage it in. I work it in everywhere and I use this almost every single night. Dr. Dre on YouTube has wonderful informative videos if you are interested in starting to use different or if maybe you just got different and if you're interested in trying to figure out how to incorporate it into your routine. I found those videos really helpful and I think it was one of you guys that suggested those videos to me in the first place. So thank you for doing that. If I have any active breakouts, if I have any blemishes or like little bumps that the different by itself hasn't been able to control by itself, I will go in with a benzoyl peroxide product on top of it. And my all time favorite spot treatment product, I will talk about more of my acne treating products in my next video that's gonna be about face masks and stuff like that, but this is the Kate Somerville Anti-Back. This is a benzoyl peroxide lotion and Again, Dr. Dre recommended using a benzoyl peroxide product in conjunction with Differin. Um, the active ingredients in these two products are the same as the active ingredients in Epiduo. Epiduo is a prescription only cream that they prescribe for acne and that one has adapalene and benzoyl peroxide. So by using these two together, it's, it's kind of like using Epiduo. With the Kate Somerville Anti-Back, the best way that uh, that this works for me is just using it as a spot treatment. So I maybe use like half a pump of this and I distribute that half a pump. I just kind of dot it on any little bump or any little blemish that, uh, that I can see at night and in the morning it's usually gone. So I really, really like this. In Canada, you cannot buy this at Sephora. It's, as far as I know, you can only buy this at Sephora in the United States. So that's what I usually do. Whenever it's VIB sale time, I just go over to Sephora in America and I pick this up. If I use this as an actual lotion, like if I use a pump of this and kind of distribute it all over an area, I find that to be a little bit too strong. I find that my skin tends to be a little bit tender and it tends to burn a little bit. So. The best way for me to use this without getting any burning or any irritation is after I apply my different all over my face, I just apply tiny little amounts of the Kate Somerville Antibag just on the areas. So that's what's been working really well for me. I will go in more in detail about like other stuff that I use for breakouts, like if I have a special vent and I have you know Mount Vesuvius on my face, I will I will talk about the things that I do and the things that work for me. Products that I use like once a week or as necessary. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.